Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh God, we bless you today, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. We glorify you, Lord. We honor. We lift up and praise your name, for you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Great I Am. Your great to be praised, Lord. And all today, right now, Father God, we just want to bless you, Lord God. We just want to exalt you right now, Father God. We want to lift you up, Lord, and place you on the throne at the head of our life and at the center of our heart where you belong, Lord. That's what we desire for you to be, Lord God. Oh God, we want to give you all the glory and praise on today, Father God, because you're worthy. God, you're worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. And you are greatly to be praised, Lord. And we just bless your name today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh, God, we just lift you up right now, Father. We want to welcome you in right now, Lord. We want to make more room for you right now, right now, God. We want to just bless your name on today, God. We open up to you right now, Father God. We want to invite you into our atmosphere, Lord God. We want to invite you into our very being right now, God. Right here into our moment in time, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you in, Lord God. That you may consume us by your spirit, Lord God. That you may come in and have your way, God. Oh Lord, we want to welcome you in right now, Lord. We want to take the time out, God, to acknowledge you just for being who you are, Lord. You are our God, our King, and our everything, Lord. And we bless your name, God. We acknowledge you on today, Father God, for being the King of Kings, for being the Lord of Lords. For for being the great I am, Lord. God, you are great and worthy to be praised, Lord. And we just bless you today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you today, Lord. Oh, God, we want to give it all to you right now, God. We want to give you our very best, God, because you give us your very best each and every day, Father God. Every day that you wake us up, Father God, breathe breakfast in our body, Lord God. Every day, Father God, that you allow us to walk with the full function activity of all of our limbs, Lord. Oh, God, we bless your name, God. Lord, we want to give you our best right now, Father God, because we want to be pleased in your sight, Lord God. And we desire to make you smile, God. We want to give you our very best, God, because you deserve nothing less but our best, God. And we willingly give it to you right now, God. So we praise and worship you right now, Father God. We give it all to you right now, Lord. Mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit, God. We bless your name today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. We come before you right now, Lord, with bowed head and humble hearts, Father God. We take a knee and bow down to you right now, Father God, because you are the head of our life. You are the King of Kings. You are all powerful. Lord. You are all sovereign, God. You are great and you are greatly to be praised, Lord. And we just bless you right now, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Lord God. Oh, God, we want to take the time out for just to welcome you in right now, God. We want to take some time right now, Father God, to just get into your presence right now, Father God, because there's no other place that we'd rather be, Father God. They're wrapped up in your arm, God, in that safety net, Father God. Laying at your feet, Father God. Feeling your warm embrace, Lord. Oh, God, we just welcome you in right now, God. We welcome you. We welcome you, Lord God. And we invite you in right now, Father God, to fill the room, Lord God. We invite you in right now, God, to move by your spirit, God. We invite you into our situations and circumstances, Lord God, because we know, Lord God, you know how to handle all of these things, Lord. And you know what's best for us, Lord. Oh, God, we welcome you in, Lord God, that you may consume us by your spirit, Lord. That you may father us, God. That you may nurture us, God. That you may show us the way you faith, Father God. Oh, God, I'm ask that you will be the shepherd right now, Father God, and lead your flock, Father God, that we, Father God, may bask in your presence and lay at your feet, Father God. God, we open up to you right now, God. Our hearts are presented to you right now, God. They are open to you, God, and we're successful to you, Father God, that we stand before you right now, God, naked, unafraid, and unashamed, Father God. Oh, God, we're opening up to you, Father God, because we know, Lord God, that you will know how to handle us, God. You know how to treat us, Father God, and you are pour that love to us unconditionally every day, Lord. Oh, God, we welcome you in, Lord God. 
We want to be consumed by you, God, and nothing else, Lord God. So, Lord, fill the rooms right now, Father God, in our hearts and our minds, God. Fill the rooms right now, Father God, in our minds right now, God. Fill the rooms right now, Father God, in our situations and circumstances, oh God, with the more of you, God, with the more of your spirit, God. Oh God, we welcome you in right now, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord. And we take hold of you right now, God, as you take hold of us, oh God. And hold our hand and not let go, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you in even more right now, God. That we may be solidified in you, God. That we may ground it and root it in you, Lord God. Oh God, we welcome you in, God, because we know that there's nobody else that's like you, Lord, Lord God. There's nobody else, Lord, who can do for us what you do for us, God. Oh God, we welcome you in, Lord. Move by your spirit, God. We invite you in, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord God. Oh God, embrace your people right now, Lord God. Wrap your arms around them right now, God. Meet them where they are right now, Father God. Whether they be at work, God, or in their homes, God, or in their cars right now, God. Oh God, meet your people where they are right now, Father God. In their hearts, Lord God. Meet them where they are right now, God. In their minds, God. Meet them in the midst of their situation and circumstance, Lord God, and let them know that you have a better way, Father God. That you have a grand master plan, Lord God. Oh God, meet us here on today, Father God. And have your way, Lord. Oh God, we welcome you. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, Lord God. Oh God, we just bless your name right now, Father God. We want to take the time out to thank you, Father God, just for being who you are, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you stand for and represent, Lord. Oh God, we just bless you once today, Father God. Lord, you are worthy and greatly to be praised, God. And we just bless you right now, God. We lift you up and we exalt you right now, Father God. Above any and everything that be going on within our life, Father God. Because we know that you're bigger than that situation and circumstance, Father God. We know that you're more powerful than all those things, Lord God. And we know that that our problems are less than nothing, Father God. They're just a drop of a bucket to you, Lord God. So we lift you up and exalting you right now, Father God, that you may come in and have your way, God. We lift you up even more, Father God. Higher and higher and higher, Father God. Because we know that, Father God, that you are the creator, Father God. You're the one who's in control of it all, Father God. You are the one, Father God, who sits on the throne of heaven and uses the earth as your footstool, Lord God. Oh God, we lift you up even more higher and higher, Father God. Because we know, God, that you're in control of it all, Lord. Oh God, we bless your name today, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Father God. We give you all the glory and praise on today, Father God. We honor you on today, Father God. It's all because of you, Father God, that we are standing where we are today, Father God. It's all because of you, Father God, that we are who we are on today, Father God. You have molded us, God. You have shaped us, Father God. You have equipped us, Father God. You have deposited some things on inside of us, God. You even have stripped some things away, God. Oh God, we bless you and exalt you on today, Father God. It's all because of you, God. And we give you all the glory on today, God. We glorify you, God. We honor you, Lord God. We lift you up, God. We bless you today, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. Glory, hallelujah to your name, God. We honor you on today, God. Glory, hallelujah to your name, God. We bless you today, God. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Father God. Oh, God, there's none other like you, Lord God. And on today, God, we just want to bless your name, God. We just want to bless you right now, Father God. This is so many times we go forth, Father God, and we're immediately asking you for stuff, Lord God. But right now, Father God, we just want to acknowledge you, Lord God. We want to love on you, Father God. We want to exalt you and lift you up, Father God, because we lift so much other stuff up, Father God. And we don't want to lift these things higher than you, God. So we want to continue to lift you higher, Father God. Bigger than that problem, Father God. We want to lift you higher, Father God. Bigger than that word, Lord God. We want to lift you higher right now, Father God. Bigger than that situation and circumstance, Father God. Because we know that these things are nothing to you, Father God. They are less than nothing, Father God. They're none existent, Lord God. So, God, we want to continue to lift you higher, Father God. Lift you higher in our hearts, God. Lift you higher in our minds, Father God. Because we know, God, that you are bigger than all these things, Lord God. We're not going to allow these things to consume us, Lord God. We're going to lift you up on this morning, Father God. And bow down and worship you, God. We're going to praise and worship you, Father God. Because we know that none of this stuff matters, Father God. It's all about you, Lord God. Not about us, God. Not about the stuff, Father God. Not about the blessings, Lord God. But it's all about you, God. God, all about your love, God. All about your spirit, Father God. All about what you have done for us, oh God. We just lift you up even more, God, and we bless your name, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh Lord, we give you all the glory and praise on today, Father God. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Father God. And you are greatly to be praised, oh God. And we just bless you even more, Lord. Oh God, we bless you right now, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you on today, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for bringing us to this brand new day, Father God. Filled with grace and mercy that we don't even deserve, Father God. We want to tell you thank you for the breath of life on today, Father God. We want to tell you thank you, Father God, for allowing us, Father God, to have legs and feet to stand on, Father God, to having arms and hands, Father God, to move around us today, Father God, for having our rights to the mind, Lord. We want to tell you thank you, Father God. 
We thank you, Father God, for all that you have done for us in the morning. I want to thank you, Father God, for everything that you have provided for us. The clothes on our back, the shoes on our feet, and the food on our table, God. Oh, Lord, we just want to bless you once today, Father God, for the roof over our head, Father God. Oh, Lord, we want to take a thank you, Lord God. You have done so much for us, Lord God. And we just want to take the time out to appreciate you, Father God, for everything that you have done, God. Oh, God, we worship you, Father God, because it's not because of the job, Lord God. It's not because of the people, God. It's all because of you, God. And we give you all the glory and praise on today, Father God. It's not because of the doctors, Lord. It was all because of you, Father God. It was not because of us and what we did, Father God. It's what you did through us, God. And we worship you on today, God. No other God come before you, Father God. No other people come before you, Father God. Nobody in our hearts but you, Father God. You sit at the center, Father God. It is you, Father God, and we want you to continue to take residence on the inside of us, Lord. Oh, God, we bless you today, God. We worship you, God. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, God. You are at the head of our life. You are our king and our everything, God. And we bow down to you, Lord God. We don't bow down to any other thing, Lord God. We don't bow down to no other people, Father God. You are at the head of our life, God. You are authority and ruler over us, Father God. Our yes belongs to you, Father God. We surrender to you, Father God. You are the one who's in control of our life, Father God. You have preordained and predestined everything, Father God. And simply purpose for your purpose, Lord God. You are the author and the finisher, God. You wrote our story, God. Oh, God, it is you, Lord God, and we know that you are the one who's in control, Father God. You are the one who's orchestrating these things, Father God. You are the one who's allowing these things to happen, Father God, and take place the way that they're taking place, Father God. And when you're allowing them to take place, God, oh, God, it is you, Lord God. And we want to give you credit where credit is due, Father God, because it's so many times, God, that we take credit for ourselves, God, and we give it to somebody else, Lord God, but it is you, Lord God. You allow these things, Lord God, and we just bless your name today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we want to lift you up even the more on today, Father God, for you are worthy, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised, God. Oh, Lord, we just want to bless you even the more, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, God, we ask for right now you continue to consume us by your spirit, Father God. Continue to fill us up. Even the more God until our cups overflow, Lord God. Take away all those things that are not like you, Lord God. And we may we may continue, Father God, to give you all the glory and praise, God. And we may continue to reverence you, God, and bow down and worship you even the more, Lord God. Not allow the words and the cares of this life, Father God, to consume us, Lord God. Not allow the stuff to be glorified, Lord. But you and only you, Lord God. For God, I'm gonna ask that you would touch the hearts and the minds of your people on today, Father God. That the hearts and the minds will return to you, Father God. That the people will glorify you, Lord God, and not glorify the stuff, God. The people will uplift you, God. And not uplift the stuff on today, Father God. Lord, take residence in the lives of your people on today, Father God. Plant yourself, root yourself, Father God, into the center of the lives of your people on today, Father God. They will know it is you and it's only you, Father God, who's writing the story, Father God, who's orchestrating the thing, Father God, preordaining the predestined thing, Father God. It is you, Lord God. Let the people, Father God, look to you for being their ever present help and time need, God. Let the people look to you, Father God, to be their provider and their way maker, Father God, for being their comforter and the nurture, Lord God, and not the stuff, God. Not glorifying those temporary things, God. But they'll glorify you for being the ultimate the ultimate permanent solution on today, Lord God. Oh, Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. They may bow down and worship you, God. They may bend the knee and say yes to you, Father God. They will submit and commit to you in all the ways on today, Lord. Oh, God, touch your people on today, Father God. They will know, Father God, that you are ruler of all, Lord God, that you are the King of Kings, that you are Lord of Lords, that you are the great I am, and you're greatly to be praised, God. Oh God, a message you will touch right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Move by your spirit across this nation, Father God. North, south, east, and west, Lord God. Our message you will touch right now, Father God. Every man, every woman, every child, and every boy, Father God. Every age, Lord God. Every ethnicity of today, Father God. Those individuals, Father God, who don't even know who they are, Lord God. And let them bow down and worship you on today, Father God. And they will acknowledge you for being the King of Kings. They will acknowledge you for being the Lord of Lords. They will acknowledge you for being the head of their life, Father God. Their soul source, their provider, their way maker, Lord. Lord God. Oh Lord, touch your people on today, Father God. And touch the hearts right now, God. And give them a heart of flesh on today, God. Touch the hearts right now, God. And give them a heart of acceptance, oh God. They will know the shout without a shout of a doubt, Father God, that you are real, Father God. That even though they can't see you, Father God, that you are definitely tangible, Father God. That you, Father God, can be reached, Father God. And all that you have, Father God, is accessible to them, Father God. If they open up their hearts to allow you in, God. So let the hearts be softened on today, Father God. Let the people, Father God, willingly want you to come in and have their way, God. Let the people desire you even the more, Lord God. Hunger and thirst and run after you even the more, Father God. The more of you, God. The more of your spirit and the more of your word on today, Father God. And they will worship you, God, in spirit and in truth, Father God. Not pulling on a mask in the familiar spirit, Father God. Not pretending, Father God, to... 
be somebody that they're not on today, Father. But they say they walk by the Spirit, they be led by the Spirit, they act by the Spirit, Father God. That they, they won't have anything that comes. Father God, what they say on today, Father God, but it'll all line up, Father God, the way that you have designed for it to line up, Father God, that it'll be a reflection of you, Father God, they'll portray your image, Father God, and not something else that reflects of the world on today, Father God, oh Lord, touch your people on today, Father God, you engrafted us into the kingdom, Father God, you handpicked and chosen to be set apart, Lord God, so let your people be set apart on today, Father God, let them not live double lives, Father God, let them not struggle to defense, Father God, let them not be lukewarm, Father God, let them not be hot for you one day and cold and Day, Father God, but let them be all in and sold out completely and solely for you on today, Lord. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. That they may be take today, Father God, to choose who they serve on today, Lord. Oh God, I message that you would touch right now, God, in a mighty way, Lord. And let your people be consumed by you, Lord God. And not be consumed in their hearts and their minds, Lord God. Not be encaged in the trap, Father God. And be prisoners in their own mind, Father God. Giving the enemy in the room to enter in on today, Lord God. Oh God, I message that you would touch on today, Father God. And open up the eyes of your people, Father God. And remove the scales, Lord God. They may be able to see clearly, Father God. Uncork their ears, God. They can hear clearly, Father God. And they will not listen to no other voice but yours on today, Father God. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God. Because sometimes your people hear so many Blessed Father God, and they cannot distinguish which one is yours, God. But I'm asking on today that your sheep, Father God, will recognize your voice, Father God, and they will not go to stray on today, Father God. Oh God, touch your people on today, Father God, and let them not fight up against you, Father God. Let them, Father God, give in to you, Father God. Let them yield to your will and your way, Father God. Let them conform to your will and your way, Father God, not to this life and this world on today, Father God. Let them be set apart, Father God. Let them not be comfortable, Father God, and be stuck in how they are, Father God. Being comfortable, being their place they in on today, Father God. Let them have desire and a fire in their heart, Father God, to want to grow, flesh, and thrive, and mature in you, Father God, and change the terms for their ways of today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now, the name of God, you will touch the hearts of today, Father God. They will have a heart and desire to change, Father God, and not stay the same, Father God. Not being stuck in that same place, Father God. Not being in a place of being hindered, Father God. Not being in a place, Father God, and not allowing what you have been placed on inside them, Father God, to lay dormant, Father God. To have that fire inside them, Father God, to be put out on today, Father God. But also they God, I'm asking you to ignite that fire, Lord. And let it burn for you, Father God. And let what's placed on the side of your people, Father God, come out, Father God, because it's not just for them, Father God, but it's for your people, it's for the world on today, Father God. So I'm asking that you will consume them on today, Father God. That you will wrap them up in you on today, Father God. That you will put them in your arms, God. That you will nurture them and pray them on today, Father God. And whatever it is that the enemy is trying to bring to deceive them, cause them to be in their place, Father God, of being stuck. Cause them to be in their place of being deceived and manipulated, Lord God. I'm asking that you will sever right now in the name of Jesus, God. I'm asking right now, Father God, you will tear down any walls and any barriers, Father God. I'm asking that you will change those old mindsets, Father God, and give them a new mentality, Father God. They will lean to your way of understanding and thinking, Father God. They will see it from your perspective and your viewpoint on today, Father God. And they will give you all the glory and praise, Father God, because you regulated their mind, Father God. You changed their way of thinking, Father God. You gave them a new perspective, Father God, and a way of looking at life on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will touch right now, God, in a mighty way, Lord God, like only you can touch, God. I'm asking that you will move right now, God, in a mighty way like only you can, you can, Lord God, and move by your spirit, Lord, and consume your people, Father God. By your spirit on today, Father God. They will not be consumed by anything else on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. If there's anything that's not like you, Lord God, take it all away until there's nothing left of truth, Father God. We command any and every spirit that's not like you to flee in the name of Jesus, Father God. Any and everything that's not of you, Father God. We bind it up and we rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we lose all those things that are of you, Father God. We may be consumed by you, God, consumed by your spirit and all those things that you have designed and preordained and predestined for us on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking you to help the people to have the strength and the energy to fight, Father God. They will not be in, in a giving up state, Father God. They will not be in a state, Father God, of being nonchalant and simple, just not caring, Father God, and allowing themselves to wallow in pity, Father God. Wallow in themselves, Father God. And think and believe, Father God, that that somebody has an out for them on today, Father God. Oh God, help us to get out of their own way, Father God, because sometimes your people can be their own hindrances, Father God. They can be their own reason, Father God, for not being able to grow in you on today, Father God. So God, I'm asking you to touch the minds on today, God, and regulate the minds, God. Touch the hearts on today, Father God, and give them a heart of flesh, God, a heart of honesty, Father God. Your people may be true to themselves, God. They can be true to you and be honest with themselves, Father God, and why they don't want to grow, Father God, why they're stuck in their place, God. And when they look in that mirror, Father God, they will see themselves, Father God, for what you have seen, shown them, Father God, for what it really is, Lord God, because you know the depths of our hearts, God. You are the one, Father God, who searches deep within, Father God. And you are the one, Father God, who shows us the error in our ways, God. So, Lord, continue to show us, us, Father God. 
that we may be continue to be true to ourselves and be true to you on today, Father God. Oh Lord, we just want to tell you thank you on today, Father God, because we know that we can depend on you, Father God, to be honest with us, Lord God. We want to tell you thank you, Father God, that today that we know, Lord God, that you'll be true to us, Lord God. Oh God, we know that you will not lead us astray, Father God. We know, Lord God, that you will not do anything to harm us or hurt us, Lord God. So let your people accept you just for who you are, Father God, and not try to make you out to be something else, Father God, or even the God that you have placed inside of somebody else, Father God. Try to make it, make people think and believe, Father God, that they are not who they're portraying to be, Lord God. Lord, help your people on today, Father God. To get out of their own way, Father God. And not be their own hindrance, Father God. And not even try to call somebody else to be stuck, Father God. Not even call somebody else, Father God, to act out of character, Father God, because they don't know what their character should be on today, God. Oh God, structure your people on today, Father God. Mold them and shape them, Father God. And help them to become, Father God, all you have designed for them to become, Father God. Help them to be, Father God, all that you know that they can be, Father God. Help them to reach their fullest potential in you, Father God. And not just sit in the place, Father God. Too little in their fingers, Father God. Not trying to get better, Father God. Not trying to become better, Father God. Not trying to go on to grow on today, Lord God. Oh God, help your people, Father God, not want to be stuck, Father God. Help your people on today, Father God, to want to change, Father God. And if they simply don't, Father God, I'm asking you to help those that you have placed in their lives, Father God, to help them to grow, Father God, to keep the dust off of their feet, Father God. To simply accept, Father God, it is for what it is, Lord God. And that they will pass the test on today, Father God. Oh Lord, continue to mature your people you even the more, Father God. Continue to elevate your people, Father God. And as you elevate your people, Father God, continue to equip them with what they need, Father God. The tools, the wisdom, and the knowledge, Father God. Continue, Father God, to take authority over the territory that you have given them, Father God. Because we know as we grow and elevate in you, Father God, you expand our territory, Father God. That we have even bigger demons, Father God, that want to fight, Father God. But we know, Lord God, if you stand before us, Father God, that nothing can come up against us, Father God. Even though the weapons form, God, we know that they shall not prosper, Father God. So Lord, continue to stand before your people today, Father God. And help us to fight this good fight, Father God. Let your people be fully armor on, Father God. Let them be prepared in this season, Father God, for what you have in store, Father God. And even those things that we may encounter, Father God, because we know, Lord God, that the enemy does not want us to receive anything that you have, Father God. And we continue to try to make us, Father God, think and believe that you won't do these things, Father God. He will continue to throw boomerangs in our direction, Father God. But we send them right back to him, Father God. Return to send them on today, Father God. That your people may continue to stand and stand strong on today, Father God. That your people will continue to, Father God, to trust and believe and lean on you, Father God, in every area of their life, Father God. And they, Father God, will not allow what they see and they hear, Father God, to cause them to lead to their own understanding, Father God. Cause them to doubt or worry, Father God. Lord, plant your people on today, Father God. Be their solid foundation on today, Father God. Anchor your people on today, Father God. They will not easily waver, Father God. They will not be able to be blown, Father God, by the winds as they come, Father God. And even as the waters rise, Lord God, it will not cause them to be uprooted on today, Father God. So God, I'm asking you to continue to move in a mighty way in behalf of your people on today, Father God. And even in the lives of Father, in the lives of those God who don't acknowledge you, God, and don't know who you are, Lord God. But I'm asking on today, God, they will be introduced to you, Father God. And they will begin to learn who you are, Father God, in their lives, Lord God. Oh God, we want to give thanks to you on today, God, because you're so dependable, God. You're so trustworthy, Father God. You're a man of your word and you're a promise keeper, Lord God. We thank you for every word that you have spoken into our lives, Father God, because we know it shall come to pass, Lord God. And we can trust you, Father God. We know that these things will happen according to your will, your purpose, and your perfect time. So, Lord God, so continue to help your people to stand still and wait on you, Father God, because your timing is perfect, Father God. Your timing is always right on time, God. So continue to allow everything to come together the way that you have preordained and predestined, Father God. And let your people continue, Father God, to keep their eyes and their heart and their mind stay you on today, Father God. Oh, Lord, we just bless you on today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. We give you all the glory and praise on today, Father God. We welcome you into our hearts and our minds even the more, Lord God, that you may come in and have your way, God. Lord, we welcome you into our homes on today, God, that you may come in and have your way, God. We welcome you into the marriages, God. We welcome you into our children's lives, God. We welcome you into all of our loved ones' lives, God, that you may come in and have your way, God, because you know what's best for us, Lord God. Oh, God, we give you the invitation on today, Father God. We're not going to leave you at the door knocking, Father God, but we welcome you in, God. We're not going to leave you standing at the door, Father God, waiting for us to tell you to come in, Lord God. We want you to know, God, that you are welcome, Father God. You're welcome in, Father God, in and every time that you see fit, God, because you know what's best for us, Lord God. God, we welcome you in, Father God, because we know that you know what's best for us, Lord God. And you have our best interests at hand, Lord God. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you in, Father God, to take residence on inside of us, God. We present ourselves to you, Lord, as a living sacrifice, Father God, as a vessel and a tool, God, to be used by you, Lord God. And we know, God, you cannot dwell in any unclean temples, Lord God. So if there's anything that's not like you, Father God, Lord, take it all the way until there's nothing left but you, Father God. And we may present ourselves, Father God. 
to be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. So right now, Father God, I'm asking, Lord God, to forgive us for our sins, Lord, knowingly and unknowingly, Father God. If we have done anything, said anything, Father God, reacted or reacted, even in our thoughts, Lord God, that was not pleasing to you, Father God. We're asking that you forgive us of these things, Lord God, and that you show us the error in our ways, Lord God, and that you will help us to continue to right our wrongs, God. Our wrongs, God, and continue to confess our error, Lord God, that you may help us, Lord God. Oh, God, we welcome you in, God, because we need your help, Lord God. We cannot do it on our own, God. We cannot make without you, Lord God. Lord, we welcome you in, Lord God, because we know that you're the only one who can do it, Father God. If you don't do it, Father God, it just won't be done, Lord God. So we welcome you in, Father God, that you may do what you need to do, Father God, however you see fit, Father God, because you know what's best for us, Lord. We welcome you, God. We welcome you, we welcome you, we welcome you, God. Move by your spirit and consume your people on today, Father God. Burn up any and everything that's not like you, Lord God. Let your people say yes to you today, God, and say yes for real, Lord God. Let them start this new month out on month off on the right foot on today, Father God. Let them use it today as a clean, a clean slate on today, Father God. They may go forth and use, Father God. Let them repent on today, Father God, with a heart of remorse, Father God, and a heart of sincerity, Father God. Let your people surrender on today, Father God, and say yes and say yes for real, Father God. Let the slates be clean on today, on today, Father God, and even forgive those, Father God, who they need to forgive, Father God. They release anything that they may be harboring on the inside of them, Lord God, and surrender it all to you, Lord God. So right now, God, we want to surrender it all to you, Father God. Mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit, Father God. We surrender it all to you, God. Our problems, worries, concerns, our situations, and circumstances, Father God. That we may have a clean slate, Father God. That we may start fresh and start anew on today, Father God. And be right and pleasing in your sight, Lord God. Oh God, we know that we're not going to be perfect, Father God. But we're striving for perfection, Father God. But we know that we have the opportunity today, Father God. Every day that you bless us with, Father God. To open up our eyes, Father God. To get it right, Father God. To turn from our evil and wicked ways and repent, Father God. And be sincere in and on today, Lord God. So God, I'm asking that the hearts will be sincere and be pure today, Father God, towards you and towards your people on today, Father God. They will humble themselves, Father God, and they will know, Father God, that you don't owe us anything, Father God. You do all these things because you love us, Lord God. Not out of obligation, Father God, but simply because you love us, Lord God. So God, I'm asking you today, God, that you will ground and root your people, God, establish them, Lord God, build them up, strengthen them, encourage them, Lord God, whatever it is they need, Lord God, we welcome you in, Father God, to do as you see fit, Lord God. Oh Lord, we just want to say a thank you, Lord God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God. We bless your name, God. We give you all the glory and praise of today, God, because you're worthy, God. You are so worthy, Lord God, and we lift you up on today, God. We lift you up, God, higher and higher and higher and higher, God, because you are great, Lord God. You are amazing, God. You are awesome, Lord God. You are so wonderful, Lord God, and we bless you even more, Lord God. Oh, God, I'm asking that you continue to touch the hearts and the minds of your people on today, Father God. Continue to touch all those, Lord, we call out by name and prayer on today, Father God. All those you have shown us by faith on today, Father God. I'm asking that you will touch on today, Father God. All the families, Lord God, and all the marriages, Lord God. Lord, touch our children on today, Father God. I'm asking that you continue to heal and deliver on today, Father God. Break the shackles and the chains, Father God. The cycles that need to be broken, God. The generational curses, Lord God. I'm asking that you will break them on today, Father God. Any old ties and any soul ties on today, Father God. I'm asking that you will break them on today. Father God, any emotional bondage on today, Father God, any mental torment on today, Father God, I'm asking that you will balance it out, Father God, and that you will settle it, Lord God. Let all these things be settled in you on today, Father God, that your people can receive the peace of mind, Father God, that you continue to perfect that thing on the top of that concerns, Lord God, that you may continue, Father God, to allow us to walk in perfect peace on today, Father God, that peace that we can only find in you on today, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking you to continue to see about your people like only you can do on today, Father God. And I know that you can, you're willing, you're more than able to do, Father God. There's nothing that's too hard for you, God. There's no task that you cannot accomplish, Father God. Nothing is impossible with you, Father God. You are the great I am. And we bless you today, God. We bless you on today, Lord. So God, I'm asking right now, Lord, that your people go forward and you are today, Father God. No matter what they see, what they hear, Father God, no matter how they feel, God, they will depend and they will lean on you, Father God, with everything within them, Father God. Let them not be wavered, God. Let them not have any doubt, Father God. I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you remove any doubt, God, any unbelief on today, Father God. As your, as your people go forward in you, Lord God, they will know, Father God, whatever it is that you're doing in their life, Father God, it will be done in the right way on today, Father God. They will trust that things they have came to you and prayed about, Father God, and that nothing will cause them, Father God, to believe anything else is contrary to what you have already said, Father God, because we know, Father God, that your word does not return void, Lord God. So, Lord, we welcome you in, Father God, and we receive your word, Father God, that you have spoken to us, Father God, whether it be past, whether it be current, Father God. 
on whatever it is to come, Lord God. We open up our hearts and we accept it and we release and receive it, Father God, because we trust you, God. We believe in you, Lord God. And that we will not allow any doubt to settle inside of our hearts and our minds, God. Lord, continue to activate the faith on the inside of your people, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to take that mustard seed of faith, Father God, into some crazy faith, Father God. Some innocent sized faith, Father God. It don't matter what it is that your people say, Father God. No matter how crazy it sounds, Father God, they will believe it wholeheartedly on today, Lord God. And we want to take a thank you, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, that your ways are not our ways, God. And your thoughts are not our thoughts, Father God. And you do things in an unordinary, in a strange way on today, Father God. So no matter how strange it may seem, God, we welcome it and we accept it on today, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the many blessings that you showered down on us, Lord God. We thank you for all those things to come, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done, Lord God, that you're about to do, Lord God, and what you are doing right now in our lives, God. And on behalf of our loved ones as well, Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. Oh, Lord, we want you to know on today, God, that you are welcome, God. That you are welcome to our hearts and our minds, God. That you are welcome to every area of our life, God. We welcome you, Lord God. And if we have not ever before, Father God, giving you permission, God. Giving you an invitation, Lord. On today, Father God. If it's our first day, God, we welcome you, Lord God. We want you to know that you are welcome here to have your way within our lives, Lord God. We welcome you, Lord. Oh, God, we bless you today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, you are so great, God. You are worthy to be praised, and we exalt you today, Lord God. We want you to know, Father God, that we know that it's all about you, Lord God. That it is all about you, Lord God. Nothing and nobody else, Lord God. And we need to have your way in our life, Father God, because we know, Lord God, that you're the only one who can do it, Lord God. So Lord, I ask that you would do it for your people on today, Father God. You have our permission to do it, God, as you see fit, Lord God. Give us a heart of acceptance, Father God, for what you're doing in our lives and everything that you're about to do on today, Father God. Help the people to continue to face their truth on today, Father God. That we may be able to accept and receive everything that you have, Father God. Accept our healing, Father God. Accept our change, God. Accept our growth, Father God. Accept the unknown and the uncomfortable, Lord God. Oh, Lord, have your way on today, Father God, because your way is the best way, Lord God. And we thank you for your way in our lives, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking you on today that you continue to touch the hearts and the minds of your people, Father God. You continue to hear and answer the prayers and the, and the hearts cries of today, Father God. All those prayers, Father God, hidden in the, hidden in the tears, Father God. And all those prayers, Father God, hidden in the moans and the groans and the cries and the screams of today that you consider them and answer them, Father God. Oh, God, I'm asking you to continue to come to you, Father God, with the things that weigh heavy on their heart and their minds, Father God. They will have no hidden motives, God, no hidden agenda, no hidden Father God, but they will come from a pure and sincere place inside of their hearts, Lord God. And when they come to you, Lord God, they will come to you, Father God, with a heart that's open wide, and they are welcoming you in, that you may have your way, God. Oh, Lord, we bless you today, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord. Lord, I'm asking you right now on behalf of your people, Lord God, and as well as myself, Lord God, that you consider the answer of prayers, Lord God, and let them be done, Father God, according to your will, your purpose, and your perfect time, Lord. In your son, Jesus' name, my prayer. Amen. Mm.